This is Dolan TV, guys. Welcome back to the Edmonton Oilers franchise mode in NHL 18. So, had a busy day on the channel. Can you tell I uh, had a unfortunate day off work due to a frozen vehicle? Probably not. It's minus 37 oak currently here in Cold Lake last I checked. So, stay in, stay warm, keep doing videos. Make sure you guys have something to consume tonight as well. So Ryan Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, Drysaddle on the top line. Then you got Pulley RV, Bukestad, and Lucic. Go back to last episode. Of course, we traded for Bukestad. Bukestad's had 29 points. He had 22 points when he came here. So he's kind of struggled, but he is finding his game slowly. But surely, Ryan Strom, 100%, tenfold, one of the best forwards on the team this year. Special teams-wise, this is why things haven't been working. I think we're going to trade out Bukestad for... Nugent Hopkins on the point. You see Bukestad has a beautiful slap shot, beautiful wrist shot, and offensive awareness of an 85. Heck, he gets up to an 84. We are happier than pigs and crap with this team. That is kind of the lines. That's what I'm thinking right there. What we need to know elsewise is that Connor McDavid is 64 points in 62 games, so he's doing okay. And the Pacific Division, we are, well, Tied with the Vegas Golden Knights, something the Oilers wish they were in real life right now. I will always keep saying that this year, the way things have gone. We will go five games to start off. i just like to see where we're at, what we need to address. Of course, we're standing pat at the deadline. I think this will be the sim that gets us through the season. Yes, because this is the deadline today, and then we go into March. So we'll simulate up. We made our trade for Bukestad last episode, so I'm not too concerned about making a trade right there against San Jose and then against Nashville two straight wins against ooh, the Rangers were a win as well and then against Arizona can we keep rolling set season ticket prices let's see what what, what should we charge for season tickets this year now let's go up an extra 50 there let's go down 50 there uh, up 50 and let's go down 100 let's go down 100 on the press boxes don't need to worry about the season ticket marketing and right there, a four game winning streak. Can we make it five? No, the Islanders are able to beat us five to three. We had that nice four game homestand and went three and one. Hey, four and one in our last five. And of course, three and one on a homestand. That's actually pretty good. And Connor McDavid, 68 points in 67 games played. So he's had a little bit of a worse points per game average. But I mean, do keep in mind he had four points in that span. 51 points for Dry Settle, 50 for Ryan Strom. Ryan Strom is now a second line center potential, literally, like he is second line material now. Lucic 47, Nugent Hopkins 35, Pajula 33, Camilleri 33, Clefbaum 32, and Nick Bukestad still only 31, he's a minus 11, so I'm not sure which line it is. It looks like it's, I don't even know what is the second line struggling. You maybe got to get Ryan Strom up there. Yes, he pulled the RV 24, Letestu 25, and everybody just kind of contributing. Slepeshev came in, played a couple of games, he's had points, and so has Kara, who's played the other remainder of those games too. So that's where we sit, hey? I think we gotta go switch around Ryan Strom finally. Strom has proven he's ready to be a second line forward in this franchise mode. We're gonna decline that call, because obviously I can't take a call while I'm on camera. And edit the lines, and let's get Ryan Strom up on the second line. And that should get there. And we'll give Bukestad. Hmm. No, Bukestad is about to play the second line time, actually, or third line time. That's unfortunate. Kajula is going to be mixed up with Puliarvi, and we're going to give Kajula and Strom the time with Lucic. Hey, they've been big point getters. If that second line all of a sudden turns it around, man, watch out. This could be the team to watch for going into the playoffs. We've got. Well, we're 67 games, so we've got 15 games to go on the schedule. That gives us three more five-game chunks. Let's go get this right here against Minnesota. I keep hitting triangle as if I'm doing MLB the show, so pardon me that we keep going back to the date. 4 nothing win right there against Mini. And then against Calgary, Clefbaum has been injured. Dang, that really sucks. Clefbaum's been injured, so that gets Sekar up there. I gets Davidson up there. That means Benning should draw back in. Uh, one goal, four assists. And where is Benning? Is Benning even in the lineup? There he is. 76 overall. Matt Benning, he's played no games at all this season. Uh, just consequence, right? 
5-3 win, and we are rolling once again. Come on against Florida. There's the 4-0 loss and then the 3-0 loss. So we get shut out back-to-back -back nights in Florida. Literally against Florida and then against Tampa Bay. That's a tough one to swallow. I must say, Connor McDavid continues his hot streak. 73 points. Los Angeles now, the ones we're tied with, and it goes all the way down to 78 points. So... We're looking to be a little bit more comfortable. Hopefully Bukestad's picked up his socks. I mean, Pat Maroon wasn't really doing anything, so the fact that we got Bukestad is an upgrade. And he's up to 34 points, but still minus 12. Kajul up to 35, Strom up to 52, so Strom really didn't do much. I don't know where the scoring came from. Camilleri got a couple of points. It looks to be well spread out. That's for sure the scoring in this case. And Benning's three games in, no points for, no a minus one in the plus minus. Uh, Hey, that's defense though. That's third pairing defense, right? That's what we got to keep in mind is this team's not exactly strong defensively and depth wise, but they're getting there. And again, I hit triangle. So let's go simulate up to the game against the Canucks and against Carolina. This has got to be a win. Oscar Clef bomb back, ready to play. See Clef, let's get you in there. Uh, Sekera will go there and Davidson will go down for Benning. Benning who's down to a 75 looks like we might actually have to end up trading him right away here which could be a little bit of a dangerous mix that's for sure and on the power play yep Clef Bomb's still in there that's huge 4-1 win against Carolina that's a win and then against Ottawa a 6-2 win we just need a couple more wins to secure a spot here in the playoffs and Amateur Scout is ready for us. Okay, what do you got, Amateur Scout? Let's go to the rest of the world. There's 11 forwards in the rest of the world. That's not, actually, let's see if we can find somebody for two weeks in the rest of the world. Again, Stanaheim get back in the column. No, it's a shootout loss. Luckily, those have not been as prominent as they were at the start of the year. So we go two, two, and one. Mixed bag, right? Mixed bag. And uh, Connor McDavid. 79 points in 77 games played. We got five games to go to the end of the season. Is playoffs exactly in sight? I'm not sure, but we are going to get... Uh, we're going to throw Ryan Strom up there on the top line with McDavid and dry settle the rest of the way, and we're going to throw these guys around. I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling we can get it going, and all of a sudden, Bukestad's got 36 points. I think he had 35 last time, so I'm not too excited about that. But we've had a lot of point scores this year, so keep that in mind. We've been solid, and... We are in a wild card position, LA being able to beat us and then Anaheim being able to beat us, that cost us, but we could still finish top three if we win our next couple of games. So we gotta go two games at a time here to the Minnesota game. And the Minnesota game could mark a big season for us, that's for sure. 3-2 win over top of Vancouver in regulation, don't give them any points. And then against Calgary, we won 4-3. That should cement us a playoff spot, I would imagine. Let's see. Did we find a playoff spot? Yes, we did. X check us in. 93 points. The Los Angeles Kings fell beneath us. Connor McDavid, 83 points. Look at that. 36 goals, 47 points. Don't you wish that Connor McDavid scored 36 goals a season? Man, he'd be we'd be flying. So we are in the playoffs, and let's just Simulate the rest of the way down against Minnesota. Get kind of get a couple more points, I guess, in terms of goal scores and stuff. A couple of four goal wins and then a three goal loss. That'll suck. 41, 26, and 15 on the year is where we finish. Good for wait on it. Second in the Pacific Division, 97 points over top of the Vancouver Canucks. We would have been even closer to the Anaheim Ducks if we wouldn't. Uh, Butchered it like we did, but that's okay. Vancouver can beat us because they're gonna have to beat us in the playoffs. Now, 84 points for Mr. Connor McDavid, 80 or 68, 86. That'd be pretty cool. 68 for Leon Drysettle, 59 for Lucic, 59 for Ryan Strom. That's clutch. I didn't expect that. 45 for Nugent Hopkins, 41 for Cam Larry, Clef Bomb, 41. Then he got Bukestad only with 39 and a minus 12. He really wore it this year, didn't he? Kajula 38, and then you got Letestu 29, Puli 28, Sekera 20, Kazian 18. Hmm. Not a lot of big time point scores. Slepchev the lowest, of course, out of anyone who's really played games. 
And then Davidson, Russell, the bottom D pair getting it done. Darnell Nurse, how about 14 points for him? Jujar Kara, 14 points. Larson, 17. And the lowest actual ranking forward in my books is Zach Cassian with the 18 points. Goaltending wise, well, Cam Talbot didn't play much at the start of the year, but really came on. 30 wins, 17 losses, 13 overtime losses, 5 shutouts, 917, 248. So we're averaging about, what, 247 goals per game? Dang rights, boys. So we know we're playing Vancouver. That'll be the next episode. Suggest your line edits. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Dolan ATV. I'm Tyson. I got to rush on out to something else. I will catch you guys in the next one.